before showing you interesting table about really the fast of the tense of Tevet, as you will see, what is this fast? It's very, very significant one, very important one. It is really for Jews, it's really very important to fast during this day, next year, Tuesday. But what I'm going to show you now are very important things about this fast. So first, let us see what is this fast about. So the fast of the tenth of Tevet symbolizes the beginning of the destruction. On these days, the enemies put a siege the walls of Jerusalem, and after two and a half years of siege and heavy suffering, the walls of the city were breached. In contrast to the other fast, which it applied on Shabbos, if implied on Shabbos, are postponed on the following day, on Sunday. The fast of the tenth of Tevet, on which it is said this very day, however it is important to note that According to the calendar, the tents of Tevet will never apply on Sabbath. For example, Yom Kippur is a remission of sins. For the New Year, the fast for a bad dream that takes care of the future is permitted on Sabbath. But on the tents of Tevet, it is fast on the future. Because on this day, God discusses the temple, whether it will be built this year or not. Yeah, it means that on the tenth of Tevez up in heaven, God watches the situation and see if Jews deserve the temple. Therefore, it is permissible to fast on Sabbath as well, because this is a judgment about the future. It's a very important day, and really, Rebbe's push very much to keep this fast day on Tuesday, the tenth of Tevez, very strongly. Yes, it is really very, very significant day, decisive day, you know, whether the temple will be built this year or not. So let us see now, very interesting table, which shows exactly about this day. Very, very interesting, very significant, as you see yourself. The first thing, this really is Kilashem Amlucha. I brought it, but I added many things which I found more. So here you have a very long sentence, Mashiach, Messiah, Tevet, Asiri, on the tenth of Tevet. That's Messiah, decision about Messiah on these days, very long and significant te sentence. Then you have parallel Elijah, the angel, Melachet, and will come, definitely. He comes also to Messiah and will save. He will save Israel Jews from very amazing. You have seen clearly all the troubles that Israel are now in. From the Palestinians, Bishtim comes here. From the Arabs, the children of Ishmael, sons of Ishmael coming also. From Iran, parallel, yeah, because he's pushing all these terrorists. You have come here also, amazingly. So clearly telling that, that Messiah will save us, yeah, will save Israel from those terrible enemies of Israel who want to destroy them, right? So he will save Israel, yeah, save Israel. And also from the Hamas parallel, yeah, and Elijah, as we see here. So, very important day, but also, in, for, by the way, I found amazing idea, very, in fact, is a minimal skip, of the sentence, the Tevet, on Tevet, the Mansur Tevet, Tav Shin Ein Chet, 5, 7, 7, 8, amazingly. As we said always, one has to remember it, but people ask questions, we are on, on 5, 7, 7, 9, no, not 7, 7, 8, no. But the answer is that there are two counting. For counting, for sabbatical, for shulis, and for leap years, definitely, you should count from the creation of the world, which was six days before Adam. But for Messiah, thing we have to do with Messiah, definitely we should do the counting from Adam, because Adam is the root of Messiah, because the letters, the abbreviation of the letters Adam are Adam, David, Messiah, because Messiah is the incarnation, the incarnation of Adam, right? So definitely it should be 5778, which is 578 now. 
So we have repentance, and as we said, all our enemies are here, yeah, and we need salvation. So come to show your salvation also. But repentance comes, this is also where to repent. So, as I said, a very, very significant table. And in fact, as there is continuation to this table, but it could not come. So then this part of the continuation, by the way, it's very important to point out that this finding is in one book, Genesis. You see, Aleph, Aleph, Genesis, in few chapters in Genesis. And the continuation, you see also in Genesis, the continuation of this part. And by the way, as I said many times, that according to Dr. Rottenberg, who Russian scientists we came, to, came to Israel, Orthodox, all the Torah, because he saw the phenomena of the Torah course, Bible course, Rip showed me, and immediately he realized it is clearly proof that Torah is from heaven, yeah. But he read only the five books of Moses, and he said if it appears in one book, it is very significant, especially the book of Genesis, interesting. Now let us see the other part of the, this table, you can see the continuation, you can see Aleph, 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 and it carries on, but it doesn't come together, but it's amazing appearance in this part of the table also. You have here the <laughs> story of Jacob, who called his sons and told them, gather, and I shall tell you what will happen to you at the end of days. This was the Hebrew, by Kaya Kobli Banan, Jacob called it, by Romer Asfu, Gezer, by Yidlach, and we tell you what will happen to you in the end of days. Now the Kabbalah, the Zohar says, hey, how the Torah tells you something that he did not say? So it seems that in hidden way, hints for it, one can find in the story. Maybe as I showed some Gematria and testing there, maybe this is also part of it. So what you have here, this continuation of the other table, about the tenth of David, that it is to do with the end of days, with Messiah, David, and Sir Joseph, and the son of Jesse, Benishak, unbelievable. So all together, this table, about the tenth of David, very significant, and therefore, I said, Rabbi pushed very much that people should try to fast there and to pray there, and it is important so other people who are serious about this and see it, what is you have here definitely should do everything. So this is even though we have about a week to Tuesday, but I think that people should know about it, the importance of it can be a very important day. Because the decision if the temple will be built on this year or not is on this day. And everything when God looks our Jews be able to keep the service properly, with your purity of life, and do they really appreciate people who are studying Torah, appreciating the Torah. So all of it, very important day, as I said, and one can read it really, what I told you, you can open it and read it again. And this is, by the way, the rabbi, the Khatam Sofer, about 200 years ago. And he said all these things, I mean, basic, very important ideas, which is basic in Kabbalah, Medrash, no doubt. So, important table, very significant one. This one you can see even without uh, statistics, because to have in one place, by the way, it was really. This table was done by Kila Shem Lucha on the 5776. Yeah. By the way, this is a date that uh, Rabbi Berland, if you saw my YouTube, the other YouTube, he said this was the start, the starting point of the process of Messiah up till the 5781. One can see it in the other YouTubes properly. So, important, interesting table, as I said, having this long sentence. Messiah on the tenth on this tenth of Tevet, which is means the idea not it will be that means the decision about it will be, yeah. And this decision will save Israel from all their enemies, you know, and to wipe them out. The Palestinian Syrah, Ishmael, 
ארץ איראן פרלל, זה פירס הוא פרלל, לא אנשים, זה לא סיגניפיקנט, סימפל, אני אביא לו חמאס, זה מדהים, זה איראן טוגזר, או עשו פרלל. אלייג'ה, בעיקר מזה מסייע. But the important thing is repentance, because this repentance which is coming, salvation will come, and as I said, it's amazing that comes your minimal sleep in the Torah, on Tevet, on the man Tevet, perhaps it is a Venei. It means very, very significant, and especially as we say, that you have this continuation, that all this table that we saw before, basically speaks about the end of days. Yeah, it's with the Kopoli Senator, yeah. And with the Messiah, the David, Joseph, and son of Jesse. Son of Jesse, David, son of Jesse. By the way, David is Yud here, because in future, David will get the extra Yud, extra energy of light, of divinity. But this is a letter Yud of God coming here. So all together, so they had a very interesting table. Verse while advertising it, I think, verse while in to tell people, to the Jewish people, but to keep the Torah, the Sabbath, Torah. And you should realize this is very important day, that, that one can even fast on Shabbos. I believe you can fast on Shabbos. You know, in Shabbos, not enjoying Shabbos, not eating, fasting. Now it doesn't appear because of the calendar. But if it would be, so then it will be a situation that Jews will have to fast on this day.